You are now entering the creative consciousness of director and Adobe expert Christian Gabriel. Hey everyone, this is Christian Gable here, and today I'm going to show you how to migrate your projects. Okay, so chances are if you're one of those people that you open your project and everything seems to be offline or disconnected, that's, yeah, not so good. That means probably in the heat of the moment you created this really awesome animation, and now all those little pieces all those little links to those little pieces that are in your project are disconnected because maybe you've moved them you've moved them to another hard drive or things get lost and you know who knows things kind of get moved around it gets a little crazy so one thing you can do to kind of alleviate all this is to do what's called a collection. So if I wanna just grab this now animation and then go to my client's house or something like that, or open it on another computer or just archive it and store it, I can actually go up to the file menu right here and down to something called dependencies. Now, in order for this to work, you need to save the project someplace. You don't need to use that project at all. Uh, you just need to save it someplace and, and then it will copy that project into a special folder when it kind of groups everything together. So if I go to dependencies and then collect files right here, and if I go ahead and bring that up, it'll give me this little warning, hey, this project needs to be saved first. Do you wanna save it? I'll go, okay, because you have to basically to bring that up. And then of course you get the collect files dialog box. So if I go to collect source files right here and drop this down, I can just collect the files that belong to my comps. So that means if you have any files or sound files or any type of file or media file in your project that you're not actually using in a composition, then it will not group those. So it'll throw them out. So it's kind of a way of consolidating the project down. That may be really good for you. And of course there's other really great options here. I get a little nervous about this, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on all. So it's gonna collect everything, including the stuff that I'm not using, okay? So I can also generate report only. And there's other really great things as well. Now, if you look down here at the little metadata here, it says, well, we have 24 files. They add up to about 579 uh, megabytes. Uh, and all of those will be collected. Uh, seven effects are also used here. Now we can also go down here to comments, click on this, and I could just type in, uh, this is a broken project. It's not really broken, but it does need a little buttering here and there. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, okay, right here. So if I hit that collect button, it's actually gonna pop up and it will allow me to save it in different places here. I'm actually gonna call this Dickies Animation. This will be actually the name of the folder right there. If I just go ahead and say save, it's now gonna group everything in my project, copy everything over and bam, look what you have here. You have this little report we have our project file that it collected and all of our collected footage. How perfect is that? All that right here. So that's great. So now this project is linked to this media right here. We don't have to go chasing around. We don't have to relink. It's perfect. So really, after you're finished with your animations, you wanna store it, archive it, or you wanna take it to another machine, you wanna throw it on your hard drive, this is really what you want to do with it. You want to collect your files right here. I just gotta show you this, this is really awesome. If you go to the little output report here, this is really an amazing thing because this report gives you a ton of information about everything that you just used here or that you collected and a lot of things about your project that a lot of people lose sometimes. But first of all, it gives me the report created date right here, obviously, and the time that I actually collected that report. And then it gives you the name of the actual project, uh, where the files actually came from. And then of course, all the different collected comps right here. So these are all the compositions and the names of each composition inside your project, the number of collected files, 
that are in the footage folder here, the size of the collected files, where each of these files even came from, which is amazing. And if you go down further, it'll even tell you all the effects that you use. That is super useful. A lot of people forget which effects they threw on their stuff. They get lost. Uh, they move it to another machine without those effects. It'll even tell you what fonts you used. Once again, a lot of people will actually forget what font they used in the design. So they're searching and they're freaking out trying to figure out where that font was because maybe you reinstalled your machine. You don't have those fonts anymore. Could be a million different things. So. All right, so that's it. That is one of the most useful little After Effects features ever. By the way, you can do the same exact thing in Premiere. If you go to the Premiere menu, File, and then you go down to Project Manager. I'll be doing another video on that one a little bit later because it's a little more detailed there, but hopefully you find some use for this. It's really awesome. So once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.